What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 20th of June. We're going to take a look at Turbo this morning. Ticker symbol for this will be Turbo, T U R B O U S D T. This will be the Turbo slash Tether pair. This will be a daily chart. Price data is from OKXN. This is a tradingview.com chart. So we've had a nice two days so far for Turbo in the green. Bounce to the upside, guys. Let's talk about that. So we've had recently this uh, one, two, three, four, you know, roughly like five uh, wave pullback here. What is nice to see, and if you're new to the channel, this will be new to you, but we've seen Turbo... So Turbo found support for a couple days at one of our levels, which was the 52.2 52 level. And then we turned that into resistance and we pulled back. And then we found support at the next level I had below the market, which was 39.040. And then we bounced. So that's how these levels work, guys. And that's why I put them on the chart. So it's most likely where the price is going to have a reaction and when the price is moving down towards a level we have, we look for a bounce to take place for there, uh, out there for a period of time. And, you know, that period of time, just like we saw here, can be short-lived. You know, it was basically um, one, two, three, three days, and then the market started to roll over. And by about the fifth day, it flipped, or the sixth day, it flipped into resistance. So far, we're seeing the same thing here at 39.040, getting a bounce. We had a big day Wednesday, so that was yesterday. Wednesday, 32% up, guys, for Turbo. And right now, we're finding ourselves at another price level, which is uh, trying to turn. It might actually be turning the price into resistance. So the upper levels act as targets and can act as resistance for, you know, X period of time. And then below the market act as support for, um, you know, X period of time. Period of time is an unknown thing. That's why we pay attention to these on a daily basis. If we go to the, so we, let's flip off the daily chart. Let's head over to a three minute time frame. You can see that the price right now is trading around that uh, 52, 350 level. It's actually the price is above it. We'll see if it holds or if it actually flips it into resistance. I wouldn't be surprised to see the ladder uh, flip into resistance. So we have a couple things to talk about above the market. We have uh, four price targets to talk about above the market we're going to drop over to the bitcoin chart at the end of this video so hang in for that bitcoin doing similar uh similar moves found some support at an area where there's i think there was about three price levels and it's moving higher you know we'll see how long that move lasts or not but anyways we'll talk about that at the end of this video so is the move over when it comes to all-time highs <clears throat> excuse me, for turbo. You know, it depends. It depends on if Bitcoin can carry its trend higher and break into new all-time highs. If that takes place, then we're going to see turbo definitely be clearing its all-time highs. But for starters, we have a couple levels to talk about um, first. So as these markets, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market find a little bit of a resistance um you know maybe today we close below the 52 uh level and that acts as resistance i wouldn't be surprised you know bouncing off one support finding resistance at another you know a perfect play right here the spread between these price levels is uh, let's see here about 35 percent so very nice to see the last time we saw a bounce off of support which right here was a 28% day and the markets continue to sell off. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, price level number one 
obviously this is going to be when price price gets back above 52 and closes we want to see a close above the 52 and that'll just tell us that the uh the odds favor a move a continuation to the upside so target number one is going to take us into some new highs uh not new all-time highs but uh new recent highs 7175 is a new target that's this dotted line right here in blue okay that is what we're looking for for a looking for price to get up to there and if it finds uh finds resistance there for a period of time that would be very normal but that's what we're shooting for here but it first starts with a close above the 52 level 7175 uh another new level for this chart here is at the 8650 8650 is right here this that's this higher uh dotted blue line here 8650 that's going to take us basically to the highs over here from the 31st of May. That's basically where this market printed a major lower high before continuing its downtrend. So 86.50. From the current turbo cryptocurrency price, let's look at what those are. So the 71.75 is 38% higher. The 86.50 is just about 67 percent higher so understand that even though turbo has moved let's go you know call it 38 percent okay even though it's moved 38 percent it could move another uh in total you know 89 to you know 120 uh 128 percent so don't don't get that not that you are but understand that just because you know an asset has moved x amount of percent don't think it's not possible for it to continue on you know it's very possible so those are the two new targets that we have to talk about we have two more as well we have four four in total 71 75 86 50 those are what we're looking for for starters that obviously takes us above our level over here of the 9th of june it'll take us above this level over here of the 30 31st of of may so that's something to look forward to if you are a turbo holder and just to make it clear i don't own this i don't have um you know, there's no financial incentive for me to talk about turbo just want to cover it for people who are interested in seeing someone else's uh take on the chart something else i want to point out here is we had the low on the 18th of june we have a higher low right here on the 19th so we like to see let's zoom in here we like to see a for starters to so we can start to look at a change in trend for markets we'd like to see a higher low take place so as these markets sell off you know we continue to make lower lows we want to see um, for starters a higher low we obviously put in a higher high another higher high so that is also a good thing to see so for right now let's keep an eye on the 52 350 level and let's see how the markets close today you know if they close above this level or do they close below this level as resistance so if you're a turbo holder um you know i would be pretty happy with what's going on with the price right now it looks good is it out of the uh is it out of trouble yet i wouldn't say quite yet but it's off to a very very good start 71 75 86 50. All right, so it doesn't stop there. We have some uh, two new upper, much higher price targets for Turbo. We have one up there at the 10391, so 0.01, uh, 0.01039. That's right up here in blue. It's very close to a couple other ones we had, but it is new, so I wanted to mention it also the highest it looks like the highest one we have for this chart it's going to put you up there at 0 0.01 0 
3147. That's way up here, guys. Right up here. 0 0.013147. And what would that look like if we rocketed up there today? Don't think that'll happen, but that would be quite cool to see. So for the 10391, you're looking at about 100% move from current trading prices to the uh, 13147, you are looking at about 152% move higher, guys. So it's nice to see markets in the green. We have four new price targets for Turbo. Once again, before we wrap this video up and check out Bitcoin, from the top down, 13147, 10391, 86, 50, 71, 7, 5. So Things are looking good right now. You know, we'll see if this uh, bounce higher can actually can start to gain some momentum and hold to the upside, and maybe we'll be in a new uh, new uptrend here for the markets and for Turbo. Um, we are well off the lows, so from the uh, from the bottom tick to current pricing here, you know, call it fifty percent off the lows. That's pretty pretty darn good. Over to Bitcoin. Let's check out BTC USD up 771 at the moment, or 74 at the moment. So Bitcoin, if you've been following the channel, Bitcoin has uh, moving down. It's founding. It's finding. A tough time talking here this morning. Finding some support. At, we have we have three price levels here: 63, 788, 64, 123, 64, 375. Uh, we obviously bounced off the 64.123 end, the 64.375. We put in a higher low on Wednesday. We have another higher low and higher high today on Thursday. We'll see if that's the bottom or not, you know, or it's just a short-term bounce. You know, either is possible. We have old areas of resistance right here at those levels that were broken out to the upside on the 15th of May. So a back test into support before potentially moving higher is very possible we'll see you know if bitcoin can start to move higher again then we can look at uh you know a 71 335 breakout and then uh 73 494 we'll see we'll see we have this big rounding big inverse head and shoulders pattern forming here which is extremely bullish we have uh targets for bitcoin up there at ninety six thousand, and then some even much higher than that We'll see if it's going to take place this cycle or not. But right now, we have nice support and the prices are moving back to the upside. We'll see if they can hold or not. And then above that, uh, 68,748 is pretty much our next area of potential resistance for Bitcoin. I'm rooting for the bulls on this one. Okay, rooting for the bulls. Guys, thanks for watching. If you are not yet a subscriber, join us here on the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed that Turbo video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on Turbo. Uh, any stocks or futures, uh, other cryptocurrencies, whatever you want to share down there in the comments. So it's funny, every day, every day for the past, you know, basically the past four days, I've been adding blocked words into the settings, the privacy settings or something like that on, on, on the channel on the back end. And you can block certain words from the comments. So I've been blocking all of these, uh, all these a AMS something, uh, whatever the bots are writing. So I block one or block two, and then post a video, and then they post a. Uh, then the bots have in, have have basically the same word, which is a different number. They just, I, I don't know how it works, but yesterday was a new one, so I'm gonna block that one. We'll see what happens in this turbo video if they have another. Uh, Another word from the bots. Anyways, doing the best I can on that. Guys, have a great day.